Alright, Brad went to Gamer Realm to buy video games. Gamer Realm was having a sale, $65 for four games. He bought three games for himself and one game for his friend Diego. But Brad does not know how much Diego owes him for the one game. What is the unit price of the video games? What is the rate unit? Alright, so what we know so far is that there's two people involved, Brad and Diego. That they're both buying a total of $65 worth of games. And they're going to buy four games. However, Brad is going to keep three games, as we can tell, and Diego is going to keep one game. All right, let's look at this. First off, to find the unit rate, we need to find out, or the unit price, how much each game costs. In order to do that, we get the total, which is $65, and we divide it by four. I'm going to write $65 right here. We go up, and every time you're dealing with the decimal, the first thing I suggest to do is do the decimal right here, line it up right on top of it, because that'll keep everything in place. So we figure out 4 goes into 6, 1 time, minus 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. We bring the 5 down. 4 goes into 25. So I have to figure out what multiple of 4 is the closest to 25. 4 times 6 equals 24. 5 minus 1 is 1. Bring the 0 down. 4 goes into 10 2 times because it goes into 8. Bring the 2 down again. 10 minus 8 is 2. Bring the 0 down. I'm sorry. So 20. 4 goes into 20 5 times. So that we know that one game equals sixteen dollars and twenty five cents however if I need to display that in the model what I would do is draw a double number line make sure I always add the zeros so I know I have a starting point I'm working with how many games four games so I'm gonna make numbers one through four on the top and make the top line represent games the bottom is going to represent cost I know that one game costs sixteen dollars and twenty five cents what I could do here on the side is to figure out for two games I could just add sixteen twenty five twice sixteen twenty five plus sixteen twenty five 5 plus 5 is 0, actually 10, carry the 1 over, 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, 6 plus 6 is 12, carry the 1 over, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, so for two games it would be 32.50, I'm just going to do these little lines here to separate and know where it belongs, alright, 3, so I'm gonna, being that this is already two, I'm gonna add. This is gonna be the three part. This is the third part for three games. Zero plus five is five. Five plus two is seven. Two plus six is eight. Three plus one is four. Forty-eight dollars seventy-five cents. And now let's confirm to see if I add sixteen twenty-five plus forty-eight seventy-five. If the four it's going to be part of the 65 plus 16, 25, 5 plus 5 is 10, so I put a 0 there, carry the 1 over, 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 2 is 10, carry the 1 over again, 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 plus 16 is 15, put the 5 there, carry the 1 over, 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 1, $65. So, the unit rate or the unit price is $16.25. The rate unit is $16.25.
per one video game.